Zhang Yuming was among the most talented young players in Shandong Luan Football School in China. So his coaches picked him halfway around the world to train and learn football in Brazil, the birthplace of some of the top players in football in history. Chinese players are very fast, but we need to learn more in terms of tactics. I have been here for two years, and in this period I have greatly improved my football skills. I hope that when I return to China, I will be a good asset for my country's football development. Chinese clubs have been investing millions of dollars to hire some of the finest players from all over the world. Now at least one Chinese club will try to make its own stars, sending Chinese athletes to Brazil to help them become world-class players. In 2014, the owners of the Shandong Luan Taishan Football Club bought Desportivo Brasil from the city of Porto Feliz. They've been sending young footballers like Yuming to be trained by Brazilians. We have here all facilities to practice and our challenge here to develop players and to reach the, 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 the high level uh, soccer in Brazil. Desportivo Brasil is now on the third division of the São Paulo State League, but its Chinese owners aim to get their Brazilian team into the first division within five years. In the long run, if we have good results and reach the elite of football in São Paulo, the value of young players developed here will go up. That's what the young Brazilian players are hoping for, too. Some even hope to play in China someday. It's also good for us to learn their culture. God willing, someday we'll also have the opportunity to play in China, and this would be very useful. A dream already realized for some of the team's players. Desportivo Brasil won China's Wei Fang Cup in 2016. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Porto Feliz, Brasil.